A two-way between subject and over should be carried out when you are looking for a difference between two different independent groups. Within this specific example, we will be looking for both gender and age differences in optimism scores. If you're compiling your own data, use the first two columns of your data set for your independent variables and the third for your dependent variable. In this example, males have been given the numerical value of 1 and females the value of 2. The same has occurred with the three age groups. The 18 to 29 years are represented by the numerical value 1, 30 to 44 years by a 2 and 45 years and over by a 3. After inputting your data, go into Variable View, where you can define your numerical values and label your variables. In the Name column, name your three variables. These names are what will appear when carrying out your statistical tests and on your output. To assign labels to your, num your numerical values, click under the Values column. Type the appropriate number in the value box and your value label in the label box. Then click Add. Once you have assigned all your value labels, proceed by pressing OK. All of your variables should also be set to Scale under the Measure column. If we then go back into Data View, then into View and select Value Labels, the numerical values will change into their assigned labels, making the data set easier to read. A quicker way of doing this would also be to click the button on your toolbar. This will allow you to toggle between numerical values and value labels. To carry out the ANOVA, go into Analyse, then General Linear Model. Then select Univariate. Then, move your dependent variable, in this case optimism, into the dependent variable box. You then need to move your independent variables into the fixed factor box. So we'll move gender and age group. Click the options button and select descriptive statistics. Estimates of effect size to obtain your ETA squared value and homogeneity tests to obtain your Levine's value. Then click continue. Next, select post hoc and move any independent variables with three or more levels into the post hoc tests for box. So in this case, age group. This will allow you to identify which levels the difference lies between if the ANOVA shows a significant result for that variable. Select which post hoc test you would like to carry out. For this example, we will be using Chukis. Once you've selected your test, click Continue, then select Plot. Move the variable with the most levels into the horizontal box. In this instance, age group and then move the remaining independent variable into the separate lines box in this case gender click add and your two variables should be listed in the plots box click continue then click ok and your output will be generated if we look at the output the first table is the between subject factors, showing how many participants were in each group. It is important to check this to ensure that all data has been input correctly. The next table, descriptive statistics, shows the mean, standard deviation and total number for each variable. In this case, it shows the descriptive statistics for the males in each age group 
the females in each age group and all participants in each age group. These statistics, at a first glance, give us an initial idea of the differences between each group. Next, we come to the Levine's test of equality of error variances. For this test, we do not want a significant result, but rather have a significance value that is greater than 0.05. This would show the data had homogeneity of variance as there would be no significant variation between data values. If we look at our example, we can see there is a significance value of 0.368, which means we have met this assumption and are able to continue with our ANOVA. The tests of between subjects effects table is where we will find the values for reporting the results of our ANOVA. To do this, we will need to report the main effects of both independent variables, as well as the interaction effect. The main effects report differences between the different levels of that variable. For example, the main effect of gender shows the differences, if any exist, between male and female optimism scores. The interaction effect shows if there is any interaction between the independent variables and is reported in the same way as the main effects. To present these, we would use F bracket, the degrees of freedom for the effect you're reporting, comma, the error value in the degrees of freedom column equals the F value for the effect you're reporting. You then report the statistical significance of this effect with P equals the significance value of the effect you're reporting followed by whether this is significant or not in brackets. Finally, you would report the eta squared results as eta squared equals the partial eta squared value of the effect you're reporting, followed by the effect size in brackets. Let's use our example to make this easier to digest. We'll look at the main effect for age. To report this, we would use F bracket, the degrees of freedom to, comma, the error value 430, bracket, equals the F value 3.929. We then report the statistical significance as P equals 0.020, followed by whether this is significant or not in brackets. This could also be reported as P is less than 0.05 as it is indeed a significant result. Finally, you would report the eta squared results as eta squared equals the partial eta squared value 0.18 followed by the effect size in brackets. The next table in our output is the multiple comparisons table. This shows which levels of a variable were significantly different upon the basis that the main effect for that variable was statistically significant. Going back to our example, the main effect for age was statistically significant meaning we would then need to consult our multiple, multiple comparisons table to see which age groups the difference lies between. To determine this, we look for the mean difference marked with an asterisk. So, looking at our table, we can see that the difference lies between the 18 to 29 years and the 45 years and over. It is important to remember, however, that post hoc results only apply to variables 
with three or more levels and are only consulted when a significant main effect is found for these variables. The final thing we need to examine in our output is the profile plot. These graphs, at a first glance, suggest if there was an interaction effect. If the lines do not run parallel, we would expect the results to show a significant interaction effect. However, when reporting your results for your ANOVA, do not just rely on this graph. You must always check and report your statistics in addition to any initial assumptions drawn from graphs and descriptive statistics. And that is how you do a two-way between subject to NOVA in SPSS.